Famous for its pyramids and bustling markets, Egypt's capital Cairo now boasts rugby's latest international team. Despite having only three club sides in the country, Egypt took the giant leap onto the international stage last week when they hosted an African development tour. This is the most amazing week I've had in my life so far, because I'm not playing for my club side Alexandria, but rather I'm playing for my national side, Egypt. Egypt welcomed North African neighbours Algeria, Mauritania and Libya for a week-long tournament at the American University in Cairo. It is a really significant tournament for us because it's an opportunity to have new countries involved in our competitions. For Algeria, Egypt and Libya, it'll be the first time they're playing official matches in an African competition, which is very important. We have a lot of aims for this tournament. The first one is to increase the awareness of people in Egypt to know more about rugby, to let them know it's not just a fight and that it's a gentleman's game. It is also about having a good cultural exchange between all the Arab and African countries coming here to play, especially with Algeria, to increase the bond between Egypt and Algeria. In the first round, Algeria opened the tournament with a hugely impressive 50-0 defeat of Libya. Egypt then marked their international debut with a 10-5 victory over Mauritania. Their 100% international record set up a tournament final with their historical rivals, Algeria. The relationships between all the teams are different off the field to when we're on the pitch. When we're on the field playing rugby, it is aggressive, but off it, we're friends who get along, and we're enjoying our time together at this tournament. The final day's action began with Libya and Mauritania competing in the third and fourth place playoff. Despite being behind throughout, Mauritania captured a dramatic victory in the closing minutes. The 10-5 win was their first ever success in international rugby and crowned an amazing experience for the team who travelled so far to compete. We completed our mission. Our aim was to come here and win something, and we have achieved that. We feel proud for the Mauritanian government. They gave us the money and they believed in us, as well as all the private companies. We feel very proud to bring a medal back to Mauritania, so it's a great moment. Egypt and Algeria contested the final in front of a passionate home crowd. Against an Algerian side boasting several French-based players, Egypt put up an impressive defensive performance to go in at the break just 10 points adrift. But in the second half, Algerian experience took as they won the trophy with their second successive 50-0 victory. This is my greatest ever day. It's the history of my parents and of my grandparents. Algeria's past was very difficult. We had a lot of problems. But I'm very happy because maybe today, with rugby, the country will change for the better, for peace. And maybe rugby will be the solution for this. I'm very proud of the team because we came together just two weeks before the tournament. We had only two Two practice sessions and one of them was in between our two games. We won the first game and lost the second to a team whose standard was way above ours. I'm really proud of how we performed. As the dust settled on the pitch the following day, it was clear a new dawn had broken. The Egyptian players could look back on a historic occasion for the game in the country and look forward to a future as part of the international rugby community. It is such a great honour to wear the Egyptian jersey and represent the country for anything. But it has been the most spectacular thing to have had the chance to wear the Egyptian rugby jersey. I think rugby in Egypt has a very strong and inspiring future, and one of the main factors towards it is this our first official competition. It's the first time that media and newspapers are writing about us, the first time Total Rugby covers Egypt, and this is a very big chance to develop rugby at all levels, girls, juniors and men. And for us, and me personally, rugby is not only a sport, it's a mindset and a chance to develop people's attitudes in all aspects.